Hey guys, Hambone here again. <clears throat> what we're going to be doing today is uh, we're going to be making liver mush. I've got one of my, well this is actually just about half, half of a deer liver. And we're, it's, it's kind of like, this is uh, another one of those Appalachian um, slash hillbilly recipes I guess you say. Where you take the liver and you take some deer meat. And we'll be taking some uh, onion powder, salt, pepper, garlic powder. And we're going to be, what i got to do, it's similar to parboil, and I guess you say. I'm just going to cook this liver, these, uh, I'm going to just chunk it up here. And I'm going to be not cooking it all the way, but I'm going to be cooking it some. And I'm going to take it out, and I'm going to run it through my meat grinder, and I'm also... I've got some of my deer burger with plenty of fat in it. I've got that thawed as well. And we're going to be mixing all this together. And uh, we're going to make some liver mush. Don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's kind of like a liver cheese, liver worse, whatever. Um, a deal kind of like that. So let me get this liver that I've chunked up. I'm going to get it, uh, I'm going to get it boiled a little bit. Okay guys, I got my liver here. I just ran cool water over it. It's still steaming just a little bit. I want to, I ran the cool water over to kind of slow the cooking process. Didn't want it to get it all the way done. I just wanted to firm it up just a little bit. So got the liver boiled. Got my uh, old handy dandy meat grinder here. We're gonna start running this liver through here. Like I say, I'm gonna be Running liver through here, little hamburger, little liver, little hamburger, and just keep uh, getting it finer and finer. You know, I'm gonna look at the texture a little further into the process because you know uh, Rob was kind of in agreement with me. Uh, I did call to consult him because he's a he's a very good cook and he knows a whole lot more about the chemistry of food and the way different things react with one another than I do. He was thinking I might need the oats and the uh, and the uh, a little bit of oil to kind of make it heavy you know and clump up together good. You definitely want that kind of thing going on with it but you can see how dark my meat's becoming with the uh, compared to the hamburger alone you know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait and see. We may, we really may need to put the oats in. Every, this is a, a, a trial run for me. I've never done this before. This is a, something hillbillies have eaten for years, but I'm trying to go on what I've eaten and how to make, how to get that end result with, with, the, uh, with the meats here. So let's go ahead. I'm just gabbing here. Let's go ahead and put a little salt, a little pepper. Let's do our um, let's do our onion powder here. Plenty of that, and plenty of garlic powder. Okay, and I, that's going to mix in. I'm just going to keep alternating meats here, keep running it through until I have everything ground up really fine. Okay, guys, I'm I'm going to run all this through another time because it's still just a little I want a little a little finer texture a little heavier I guess you say um, and I do believe I'm gonna go ahead I thought I might have enough fat in there but I told you I was talking to Rob about the uh, adding some oats and a little bit of oil so let's go ahead I'm gonna put about a uh, oh I'd say about a quarter cup of oats and maybe a couple tablespoons of oil in this and we're going to grind it again got my wife helping me here guys i got uh, there we go good deal all right my wife's got a little oil and little oats added there for me i had my hands coated with the uh with the meat i'm going to go ahead and mix all this together we'll regrind it and see if we're where we need to be okay guys we got it all reground and uh i think we've got what we want here Pretty fine. Um, I've got these little uh, 
the little tiny loaf pans here. Just going to be filling those. And my wife has preheated the oven to about 250 for me. The way this is typically eaten is on a sandwich. Um, cut it in slices about maybe three-eighths of an inch thick. And you can put that on a sandwich. I've heard of people, I was watching um, those Bizarre Foods guy, Andrew Zimmerman, and he did a special on uh, Hillbilly Cuisine, I guess you say, and they were uh, eating this on... Uh, eating this on sandwiches with uh, grape jelly don't know why I've never tried that but I'm willing to sounds pretty good to me actually but uh, it smells great especially if you like uh, onions and garlic there's just a hint of um, liver in it but not what I was shooting for what I'm gonna do and I think it's because I think it's because of the uh, the fat that I need more fat in it which isn't exactly healthy but you can see the texture see this isn't it's not creamy enough and I'm sure that's where the fat comes in maybe um, maybe the next time I do this it's just gonna be I'm gonna use um, more liver uh, go like three-quarter liver and one-quarter burger in this but it's still good it's going to make a uh, good sandwiches so I'm gonna go ahead and cool it cool it all down and everything slice it up and I'll make me some sandwiches later but we'll try this again uh, we'll... okay guys we're getting ready uh, we're getting ready to do the taste test here I've got the um, I've got it sliced and we're frying it I've got some bread toasting and I'm not sure if my wife's gonna do the grape jelly or not I'm doing the grape jelly and I'm gonna make her sandwich whichever what way she wants it and we're going to see how this turns out. Okay, guys, my wife didn't want anything on her sandwich. It's done frying. And we're going to get her to do the uh, official taste test. Here you go, darling. You're going to take a break from me. She's pulling cookies up, guys. She's she's uh, holding me up here. All right. Let's Good? Okay. Alright then guys, we're gonna try it again later. I'm gonna go ahead and make me one with the uh with the uh grape jelly on it and uh, we're gonna we're gonna try another recipe. Okay guys, I've got uh doing mine up with the grape jelly. I'm gonna try that. Uh my wife she decided hers needed just a little something even though she thought it was good and she put some uh some of this uh, dill relish on it. And it was awesome. Very, very good. I'm going to try mine without cheese first to see what it tastes like. Um, I kind of like the way my wife fixed hers, but I had to try this when I, when I heard, the, um, heard the recipe. That's awesome. It sounds really, really weird, but guys, you've got to try that do the thing you know uh, I'm gonna do it again with um, more liver in it but this turned out great it's still a good recipe so um, go ahead and try it for yourself I'm gonna sneak another bite of my wife's with the uh, relish and cheese mmm I like hers better I do I like them both but the relish and cheese if you're gonna do it you gotta try it that way so anyway guys I'll uh, I'll uh, catch you a little bit later.